Okay, so my camera decided to just randomly close itself out there. But, like I was saying, you got your eggs with legs, your yules. Those, in time, will molt into first instar spirulins, which is what you just saw in the Calcote sack that I opened. These are essentially just little white blobs, um, although they do represent a tarantula much more than the yule stage. They are still very, very tiny. Um, they do not have the hairs or the markings that the adults or even the juvenile tarantulas have. Although they are mobile and free roaming, a lot of times they'll choose to stick together for survival purposes. Um, as far as eating goes, they tend to either scavenge or just not eat at all. Which is fine because that really cuts back on feeding costs and all that stuff for now. And a lot of times what keepers will do, and this might sound a little bit cruel to an outsider, but in order to cut back on the sheer amount of spiralins, because you have to remember, some tarantulas, they can lay in excess of a thousand eggs. Most usually will yield around two or three hundred. Um, some of the smaller species, like the Avix, you'll get between 50 and 100 spirulins if, if you're lucky and they all survive, that is. So you can imagine how overwhelmed, um, especially like first-time breeders or breeders that are still fairly new to the hobby, are going to feel when they open up their sack and they're surprised by just hundreds and hundreds of little wiggling legs. So I think that I may end up doing that. Um, again, just I'm just going to throw this out there to avoid any sort of backlash because I know that everybody has their own opinions in this hobby, like with any hobby, and their own way of doing things. And as with any other hobby, unfortunately, you do always get those individuals that, you know, seem to think it's it's my way or the highway, that there's only one way of doing things, and they just will shame the hell out of you if you don't do things according to their method. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to deviate too much here. I also don't want to sound arrogant and be like, oh, I know what I'm doing, I've done this for years, because I really haven't. I've only ever bred one other egg sack before. Um, but based off of what a lot of experienced keepers have told me, uh, as well as the research I've done myself, and what has worked for me in the past, I, th I think that allowing the first instars to cannibalize, at least for a little bit, you know, just to cut back on, you know, having way too many spider lanes. I don't I don't see that as really a bad thing. Um but anyway, moving past that, eventually these will mold probably within the next week or two, I would imagine, into second instar spider lanes. And this is essentially when the spider lane is just a miniature version of the adult tarantula. It may differ in coloration depending on the species as well as pattern. But they'll develop their hairs, you know, that tarantulas are known for, the hairy appearance, um, and they will start moving around, digging, webbing, doing whatever, becoming more independent. And it's at this point that the spiderling will actually actively hunt and consume its own prey. A lot of times you can get away with letting them scavenge, whether that be feeding them a freshly killed cricket or something larger, like either a larger cricket or a roach or a superworm and cutting it into small pieces, just as long as you do so humanely. Um, and they will scavenge off of the pieces of that prey item. But yeah, that's basically um, just the, the little rundown I wanted to give you guys on uh, how spiderlings develop and how to care for them. Um, I want to do a more detailed video on individual sling care. Like how I'll give you guys maybe like a little um, DIY demonstration on how to create a spiraling enclosure. 
um, how to control ventilation, humidity, moisture, all that good stuff, um, as well as just the overall setup and care for slings. Obviously, like I say in every video, that's going to vary depending on what species it is that you are caring for. Um, but for the most part, spiraling care is, is not too difficult. But anyway, alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and kill the camera here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will make sure to keep you posted. And as we say here every day at Mark's Tarantulas, you guys, stay awesome.